Summer's coming and how do you stay cool? Whether you're in the shop or on the job site, a battery powered fan can be a big plus. We've got the Milwaukee 0821-20 18 inch M18 cordless fan. This is a brushless fan supposed to deliver a lot of output and we'll get into the specifics in just one moment. But not only is it battery powered, but it's also hybrid powered. So it's actually going to be powered off an of an extension cord or 120 volts, as well as an M18 battery. Let's get started. Now they do claim this is an 18 inch fan. On the front side here, uh, we get a plastic shroud, which kind of have standouts right here. I'm not sure what that is for. Oh, I do know what that is for. These are stackable. You can actually stack these fans. I forgot about that. So I believe you can flip it up this way or this way, uh, and then these will stack on top of one another. And so these, these spots right here, I believe will stack into these spots right here. Uh, so you can stack these fans up on top of one another. Uh, we should have a picture of that. But anyway, so I think that's what these standoffs are for right here, these four here. Anyway, we have a plastic shroud on the front side and as far as the sizing on this, uh, let's see. Yeah, so 18 inch internal, uh, external, uh, about a 20 inch diameter here on the fan body. Now, as far as the body of the legs, you're looking at right at 23 and a quarter inches uh, across that. And then as far as depth on the whole frame and everything, about 11 inches deep. And then on the height on this, uh, 20, looks like 26 inches, maybe just over 26 inches tall. Now, if I flip this around here to the back side, we have a steel grate on the back side. So this is uh, basically where air is coming in and then pushing out the other side. And you see, we have kind of a larger mouth opening here on the back side. It kind of flares out here on the edges and the sizing probably be about the same. Yeah, 20 and three quarter inches, uh, so a little bit larger uh, on the outside. And again, the internal dimension, uh, about 19 on the internal. So 18 inch blade, uh, but 19 here on the opening. We have our power switch here on the top and we have low, medium and high. And then right here is gonna be where we install our M18 battery. Now, what I did think was interesting is that many times on these hybrid fans, because by the way, this is a hybrid fan, so it will run on the M18 battery as well as an extension cord or 120 volts. Usually you'll see behind the battery is where you actually plug in that extension cord. Not the case on this one. So the battery mounts here. So you can leave the battery in it while you run it on electrical power. So let's flip this around. We'll turn this up and around here. And now you can see where we plug our extension cord into to power this on 120 volts. So you just plug your cord in and now you're saving your battery for another time when you don't have power. Now I know what the next question is. When I have the plug plugged in uh, and I have my battery in here, will it charge the battery? No, it will not. This is not a charger and a fan. It's just an M18 battery powered fan that also runs on 120 volts as well, but it does not charge this battery. However, if you do have it plugged in, it's gonna run off the plugged in power and not off of your battery power. Now this bare fan weighs in at 17 pounds, so add a few pounds uh, with your uh, whatever M18 battery you're gonna run. So you're gonna have about a 20 pound fan with the battery on there. So not exactly heavy, especially for an 18 inch fan. And in speed three or in high, uh, you're supposed to get 3,400 CFM. Now I won't say that this is loud, but I'm sure you can hear this in my mic right now, but you're definitely gonna hear it in high. Now when I go down to medium, it's a lot quieter. You can still hear those fan blades. But in low, that's when it really simmers down. And you know, with, within about three feet, you're hearing the fan blades, but very minimally. 
uh, and stepping away a few more feet and you hardly even hear the hum of the blades. You don't hear any of the motor noise turning at all, uh, just on the blades uh, in the air, if you will. So really quiet, but at the same time, moving quite a bit of air. And I'm pretty impressed that here, even in low, it is moving quite a bit of air. Usually on these battery powered fans in low and medium, uh, it's moving the air, but you're really not feeling it on your body as well. This, I'm actually feeling a good amount of, 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 of air coming across my body. Uh, and definitely in speed three, you're getting a lot of wind moving across, keeping you nice and cool. Now talking about runtime with a 12 volt battery, uh, you can look at getting about five hours of runtime on high on this. So if you're really wanting to use that, that max output of, you know, speed three or high speed and getting that 3400 CFM, you're only going to get about five hours of runtime with a 12 volt battery. A 5.0 and 6.0 battery, probably gonna get you in that two hour range. But if you turn this down to low with a 12 amp hour battery, you're going to get 23 hours of runtime. And then in medium, you're gonna get about 12 hours of runtime. So keeping it on speed two, which I think is a happy medium, uh, with a 12.0 battery, you're gonna run all day. Now on a medium, on a 5.0 battery, you're looking at about five hours of runtime. So definitely getting you past uh, half your day. So maybe at lunchtime you could plug that battery in or swap the batteries out if you're running those smaller battery packs. Uh, but on the 12 these larger batteries, larger capacity batteries, it is gonna get you all day runtime if you stay on that you know, low or medium setting. Now there really shouldn't be any significant difference in running this off of a power cord or extension cord and running it off a of battery power, but we'll just see if we can feel a difference at all. No, it seems to be the exact same. So no power difference in the, uh, in the fan at all when it's plugged in. And let me remove this battery while I'm running. So again, we're not changing anything with the battery in or with the battery out. I'm curious. You know what? I think maybe that I'm hearing it pick up speed and drop speed when I unplug it. So that's plugged in. I do hear it kind of hiccup, if you will, or, or maybe change. That could be just the voltage change or uh, maybe some type of inver inverter happening. Let's go into high. Better yet, just go into medium. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'm just hearing that, that drop in between. It kind of uh, probably decides which it's going to use when I unplug it. Obviously, it's got to go back to battery. So there is that moment of like a half a second where the RPM drops or the CFM drops, but I think it picks right back up on the battery. I don't see a significant difference in the, the power of the fan, whether it's plugged in or not. Could be a touch, but not much. So there's high. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it just uh, it just drops there for that, you know, a second or so in between of the voltage switch or switching from from battery to to cord and back to battery. Uh, but otherwise, as far as the power and the speed of the air coming out, there's no difference whether you've got it plugged in with a cord or whether we're running off our battery pack. And by the way, we mentioned the 3400 CFM. They're also claiming like 13 and a half mile per hour as far as uh, wind speed, if that means anything to you. Also, this is completely 360 degrees. So you don't just go from, from one to the other and it's not 360 where you have to go over here and then back over. You can completely flip this around 
without issue. Pricing on the M18 18 inch fan is $250. And as we mentioned, that comes with the fan and the fan only. Now it does come all pre-assembled, so you don't have to worry about putting anything together or any additional parts and pieces, but it does not come with a battery nor with a charger. Now I'm sure we will see kits uh, in the future and you'll probably even see different retail establishments, different box stores, online retailers, offering different kits that they put together as well. But for right now, all we're seeing is the 0821-20, which tells us that's bare tool as we got this with no battery. And again, that's $250. We also did notice this is a one-year warranty on this fan as well. Many of their power tools are five-year warranty. Many of their uh, other tools are three-year warranties, but this one has a one-year warranty. Now, we think this thing actually outputs a lot of air. Uh, we think you're also going to be happy with a larger capacity battery in powering this because with that five amp hour, you're going to throw it on high uh, and it's going to you know, die in a couple of hours. And you're going to think, what in the world? I just turned it on, even though it's been a couple of hours. So I would definitely recommend getting into that eight, nine or 12 amp hour battery. Then you're going to see some all day run time or at least kind of all job day uh, run time on a battery, depending on where you're running this on medium uh, or high or low. Uh, again, I would highly recommend running on that medium setting. You've probably got plenty enough air moving across to either clear dust out or to keep you cool. Hey, uh, be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, well, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.